you guys should see the little beepy red dot in the top left corner of your screen. And hi guys, happy Thursday. Today is story and movement day. But before we get started, we have some chores to take care of. We have our Santa beards to do. And I'm a day behind, I think. Today's the 10th, right? So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I need to add two, one, two. So eight, eight plus two is going to equal our 10. So I'm going to go grab my glue. I need a new glue. It was all prepared, but I left it in my pen jar. All right. Carla, I can't see what's on your nose because of my sunglasses. <laughs> It's a smiley face sticker I found. Oh, okay. All right. So you guys should have two rows of Santa beard, give or take. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten floofs on there. All right. The next order of business is to take a picture for our spirit day. Today is Hawaiian Christmas Day. So when our friends joined, I was playing Hawaiian Christmas music. I'll do it again before our 1130 session, just so we get in the mood. And on the count of three, we're going to take a picture. So look as cute as you want to. Miss Angie, you're going to guest star in our classroom photo today. Okay. Perfect. Destiny, hi, honey. Food. Today is Hawaiian Day, and we are getting ready to take our classroom summer Hawaiian Christmas photo. Are you guys ready? On the count of three, look as cute as you want to. Look at Destiny <laughs> and her, it looks like a tropical wave shirt in her sunnies. All right, ready? One. Uh oh, hold on. Computer error. Oh. Okay, ready? One, oh. two, three. All right, perfect. And today is story and movement with it's Angie. That's why she's guest starring in our photo today. We could convince her to do that with us every day. Um, Should be worth extra points or something. Right, guest stars, bonus points. Yeah. I'm in for that. Let's appeal the judges. All right, so today is story and movement. And today's story is the littlest reindeer. Have you guys ever heard this story? Miss Denise is saying no. No, Carla, have you heard the story? Not to my knowledge at this point. Okay. All right. So we're going to start with the littlest reindeer. And remember for story and movement, the story is going to tell us about the littlest reindeer. And then we are going to do an exercise with Miss Angie to match the story. So it's like we're a part of it. Are you ready? All right. Reindeer, written by Brandy Doherty, illustrated by Michelle Lisa Todd. It's a cartwheel book, an imprint of Scholastic Incorporated. Dot was a reindeer. She lived with her family at the North Pole. There were many reindeer in Santa's village, but Dot was the littlest one. Dot had a friend named Oliver. He was the littlest elf in Santa's village. Dot and Oliver were Santa's special helpers, but Dot wanted another job too. More than anything, Dot wanted to help fly Santa's sleigh. Santa would be choosing a new reindeer soon and Dot was excited. She just needed a few lessons and then she would be ready. Dot's sister, Stina, showed her how to get a running start. Dot's cousin watched too. Faster, faster, they chanted. The littlest reindeer. All right, so they're, since they're trying to get Dot to run, we're gonna run in place. Good job, Des. We have five more seconds. But Dot's short legs just couldn't keep up. 
I bet Carl can help, Stina said comfortably. Then Dot's brother, Carl, showed her how to make the first leap into the air. It's called the takeoff, he said. Okay, now you try, Carl told Dot. But Dot. All right, so since she's trying to leap in the air, we're going to see if we can do arm raises to help her get up there. Halfway. Dot tried with all her might to jump in the air. Carl laughed. Very funny, Dot. Now really jump this time. All right, so since she's jumping and I don't really, I'm not a big jumper, we're gonna do side bends. So put your arms over your head. And we'll go one side and then the other side. A lot like that. Ten seconds. Good. That was it, Dot whispered. Oh, Carl said, well, maybe Grandpa has some suggestions. Dot's Grandpa was in the stable. I need help jumping, she told him. I know exactly what to do, he said. Dot's Grandpa showed her how to jump from the stable loft and fly. Kick, 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 he shouted. That was it, Dot. All right, so make sure there's nothing in front of you. We're gonna stand on one foot, pick that leg up, and then switch legs. Pick that leg up. Five more seconds. Shouted, but when Dot tried to jump off the platform, she sank right into the big hay pile below. Dot's grandpa pulled her out. Why don't you go talk to your mama? Dot's mama was at the supply store. She was picking up a new harness made especially for Dot. But when Dot tried it on, the harness slipped right off. We can fix it, Dot's mama said, but Dot shook her head. I'm too little. I can't run. I can't jump. I can't fly. Dot's mama nuzzled in close, but you will soon. There's always next year. Shouted. But when Dot tried to. All right, so we're going to do flying arms since they're trying to get Dot to fly.
cheer. Dot clopped through Santa's village. She was sad. Would she ever be big enough to help fly Santa's cheer? Dot clopped through. All right, high knees, so lift your knee as high as you can in the air. Ten more seconds. The sleigh. Just then, Dot's friend Oliver appeared at her side. What's the matter, Oliver asked. I'm too little to fly Santa's sleigh, Dot said. But you're not too little to do lots of other things, Oliver replied. Come on. Dot and Oliver made a snowman. They played tag with their friend Charlie. They made Christmas cards for their families. And they even helped a baby fox find his mama. At the end of their busy afternoon, they collapsed in a snowbank to rest. See, Oliver said. Look at all the things we can do. Dot smiled. She felt better. Our the sleigh. Just then, Dot's. All right, they're making snow angels. So we're going to take our arms from our side all the way up above, like a snow angel. Halfway. Already. Before Dot knew it, Christmas Eve had arrived. The entire North Pole came out to send Santa and the reindeer off on their important journey. Dot's grandpa gave her a big nuzzle. This will be you next year, he said. Dot nodded. Already. Before Dot knew it, Christmas Eve had arrived. The entire... Sorry, guys. <laughs> All right, so they're sending her off. We're going to put our arms up over our head and wave goodbye to them. You guys have some impressive waves. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody cheered and waved as the reindeer got their running start. But then Dot noticed a tiny present in the snow. It had fallen out of Santa's bag. Oliver looked at Dot. Go, go, he cried. Then she picked up the gift and ran it. All right, Dot's running with the present. Let's see if we can help her get it to Santa's sleigh. We're gonna run in place. Ten more seconds. It was her highest jump ever as she kicked her legs as hard as she could. Suddenly she was flying. 
She leaped right into the sleigh. Santa smiled. Well done, Dot. When Dot returned to the North Pole early the next morning with Santa and the other reindeer, the whole village was waiting. Everyone surrounded Dot with hugs and cheers. I knew you could do it, Oliver cried. Dot finally found a way to help Santa with his sleigh. Sometimes little is the perfect size after all, but even better, having a friend by your side makes anything possible. It was her highest jump. All right, they're all excited for Dot, so we're gonna do overhead claps. Ten more seconds, keep it up. All right, good job. All right, guys, before we get to the holiday dance and freeze, that's gonna be our last activity with Miss Angie for today. As a reminder, 1030 today, we have Tiger Zoom news and it's story time today. I don't remember who's reading though today. Does anyone remember which uh, staff is reading? You do? Miss Kasha. Oh, oh! Yeah. Kasha, I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh, gosh, slacker Ashley. Okay, so Miss Kasha is going to be reading to us following Tiger Zoom News at 11:30 today. We are going to be doing Miss Connie. Do you remember? Can you share? We are writing a letter today. Who do you guys think we're writing a letter to? Miss Angie, we've written two letters to the Torrent Tiger and we wrote okay. two letters to Santa and we even got a letter and a video back from the North Pole. Oh, wow, that's cool. Right? So if you guys wanna check out our letters that we've already done, go visit our Facebook page. Otherwise, uh, we will see you guys at 11.30 and 10.30 today and let's go do our holiday dance in freeze. Are you ready? All right. Ready, ready. Holiday time all around the world. Everybody dance. It's holiday time for every boy and girl. So feel the beat. And have some fun, dance along with me, and do some cool moves, get in the groove at the holiday dance and freeze. Hey, you aren't freezing, cheaters. Do the disco, do the disco at the holiday dance and freeze. Freeze. Do the dab, do the dab at the holiday dance and freeze. Do the floss, do the floss at the holiday dance and freeze. Do the dinosaur, do the dinosaur at the holiday dance and freeze. Everybody dance, it's holiday time all around the world. And do some cool moves, get in the groove at the holiday dance and freeze. Do the choo-choo, do the choo-choo at the holiday dance and freeze. Do the baby shark dance, the baby shark dance at the holiday dance and freeze. Do the orange justice, the orange justice at the holiday dance and freeze. Do the cowboy, do the cowboy at the holiday dance and freeze. 
everybody dance. It's holiday time all around the world. And do some cool moves. Get in the groove at the holiday dance and freeze. Let's be friends. Place your mouse on my guitar and click the red subscribe button. Also, you can click this icon to visit my website. Well, he was really excited about dancing with us today. All right, guys, that's it for Story and Move today. Story and Move is finished. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be one of those days, isn't it? All right, so we hope you guys had fun with us and our story today. We will see you at 1030 for Tiger Zoom News. Bye. Oh, wait, you know what? We're going to do one more quick spirit day photo before we have new friends join us. If you've already taken your, your uh, Hawaiian gear off, please don't put it back on. You're okay. Put it back on. Okay. It's okay. I think a couple of people have taken their accessories off because we got sweaty. Yeah, sorry, we had to put it back on. <laughs> okay. Uh, I was like, this lay is like choking me partway through that running. <laughs> So crazy about it. Yeah. We put it back right. on. Oh, well, we gotta wait for Miss Connie to come back and then we'll just add this to her other photo. Hurt. Uh -huh. <laughs> Ready? Desi. All right, on the count of three. One, two, three. Desi, say cheese. Perfect. Cheese. They nailed oh, it. Cheese. Cheese. If you want individual photos to be featured in our album, send them to me. I'll make sure they get posted. Otherwise, bye friends. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Uh, at least you're waving <laughs> we practice. Some of you had like waves. Yeah. We should have done photos during yeah, that freeze nice. part. That's, uh, actually from Hawaii. Her um, papa brought it back when he went to a trip to Hawaii.